In truth, the professor won the money fair and square, but not part of this world. For these men want their money back and are ready to fight for it, which never surprised the professor, for it was expected, especially when it was the casino of his ex-girlfriend, whose father the professor put in jail for 16 life sentences for trying to sell nuclear submarine to terrorists and for genocide on the people of Peshua. Plus, he was wanted in 27 countries. But Dominic wasn't bothered about the past. She wants the professor to return the money back to the men he won the money from in a game of poker. As the men were closing in on the professor, he pushed Dominic away and slapped kick one of the men behind him. Another tried to stab him, but he deflected and knocked him out cold, simultaneously grabbing his knife and stabbing another to the floor. Use the fire extinguisher on the wall to smash the window for his escape in which he dived through and landed in a Rick's jeep. And before Dominic and her men could know what was happening, he was gone with his winnings. The bloodline who are creators and members of the secret society kept to themselves not because they were timid but because they see themselves far superior to humanity for they have been in existence for thousands of years and have been in control of the affairs of the world using political leaders as their puppets to serve their bidding. They use their influence to psychologically hypnotize the world by creating religion as a brainwashing mechanism to delude humanity in a vacuum of hero worship and savior expectancy. As the leader of the bloodline had failed to make the pathway bridge to the parallel earth, his punishment is death and mercy is abominable. For he had failed as a leader and he had failed as a father. On their way to Palmyra, Rachel Starks wanted to know how the professor's mind works in which he explained that it is a bit complex. He just has a way of absorbing information in a fast pace and utilizing it to his own advantage. For this reason, he was nicknamed the Human Google. Even at this moment, he is still working on how to build a rocket to deflect an asteroid that is meant to hit Earth in his subconsciousness and he hasn't come to a conclusion in solving this problem. Suddenly, Ari got an information from his cousin that the Americans are about to launch an airstrike at the temple where the Islamic insurgents were based in 60 minutes and the drive was going to take them three hours to get to the temple. Immediately, the professor chartered a plane to pick them up for there was no time to wait. When they got to the plane, the professor came up with a crazy idea of intercepting the missile, in which he jumped after the missile was fired by an F-15 jet, chased after it, got close, hold onto the body of the missile as it fly towards the temple, climb over the missile, unlock part of it, disconnect the missile, divert it away from the temple, and use the parachute to land in the midst of the insurgents whom held him captive. But the professor had a plan of escape, for he understood that he is a high commodity for the insurgents, and two million dollars ain't cutting it. 